Hello, YouTube land, and welcome to another edition of the Crypto Mama Mia. Today is the 23rd of June, 2021. What am I talking about today, ladies and gents? Am I going to sell out my Bitcoin? Have I reached that point? Well, I will tell you, but first I will tell you, I am not your financial advisor. Please read my disclaimer and always watch the latest and greatest. None of this is financial advice. This is just what I'm doing, ladies and gents. You do what you want. So with that being said, am I selling out my Bitcoin or any of my other cryptos because of this market drop? I mean, look at this, ladies and gents. I mean, it's up today, but let's go ahead and zoom out, shall we? If we look at, let's see, three months, it's down 36%. We look at six months, oh, it's still up, but three months, let's see, the high was 63,000. Yeah, so the high was 63,000, and now we are at this point where it went all the way to 31,000, ladies and gents. I mean, again, we're up a little today, but in fact, let's go 24 hour, we're up 4%. So am I selling, ladies and gents? Am I selling all my cryptos? The simple answer for me is no, and I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Let's zoom out. Let's take a look at even the one year. I mean, I did acquire quite a bit of Bitcoin around this price. And so to, um, to date, I'm still up. And ladies and gents, I do what I preach. I take profits, either through core compounding, either through selling high and then buying low. Well, that's core compounding, but... You know, I do all of that kind of stuff, right? And then on top of that, I also still do leverage trading. That's right. I haven't done a whole lot of trades because I'm still trying to get used to this Margex platform. You know, I was so used to Bit7, right? But as you folks may or may not know, Bit7 is closing their platform. And here's the announcement. So if you have funds in there, take it out by August 1st. But yeah, that's what I'm doing, ladies and gents. And listen, if you sell when it's low, then you really are taking a loss. Otherwise, just look at the history of Bitcoin, ladies and gents. And of course, not financial advice, but just take a look. It has its peaks and then it has its valleys. It had its highs and it had its lows. So if you sold out, so if you bought up here, let's say around 19,000 and you sold at, let's say, I don't know, let's go even lower, at 4,000 because you're freaking out, which was not too long after it hit the highs, right? Because in December, it was about 20,000, but just a mere... Let's see, year later, right, you lost more than half. So you probably freaked out and maybe you sold. But if you just waited, and again, ladies and gents, this is why you either do core compounding or this is why you either end it for the long term. Because if you just waited, you would have gotten all of it back and then some, right? And then you could have sold here. See, I sold some here, right? I took some profit because core compounding, ladies and gents, I took some profit. And then now it's low again, but again, core compounding, right? Take the profits, ladies and gents. Or if, if you don't want to take the profits, hold. Don't sell at the lows. I mean, okay, let's go to Ethereum. Same thing with Ethereum, which is the number two coin, right? Crypto coin. I mean, it's up right now, but as you can see in the three month span, oh, it's still up. Well, because this one was as low as, let's see, this one was as low as 221. And it never really went much lower, but it did hit four grand. But now, see, if you bought here and you were like, oh no, now it's here, and you like lost more than half, and now you want to sell in my opinion, and this is just my opinion, 
I wouldn't sell. I would just wait because look, if you even waited, you would have gained more of it back and more of it back. Will it go to this price again? Who knows? But all I know is if you sell here at the very bottom, and of course we never know what the very bottom is, you know, I am not, I don't have a crystal ball, ladies and gents. I mean, I can pretty much gauge from what I've learned from trading on the one minute charts via Oracle style, but I also know for myself, not because anybody told me that I take profits. <laughs> I, I mean, I learn from, you know, other videos, other information on the web, just books, whatever, whatever the case may be. And in my head, all I hear is buy low, sell high. So if you're doing the opposite, you are doing the opposite of what the rich people do. And remember, ladies and gents, the rich people, they want it all. They don't want you to get rich. There's, you know, there are a few exceptions, right? But a lot of the rich just want more for themselves. I mean, that's just human nature, right? <laughs> it's greed. But like, I am out here because I think many of us can be part of the quote unquote rich people, but we just have to know what the heck we're doing. And just know, ladies and gents, that this market is manipulated like any other asset market. If you don't think so, then you are living in la la land, right? So in by all means, go do your own research, go do your due diligence, you'll see, you'll understand, you'll know that people will tweet, people will say things to try to bring the market down, like this whole China thing, ladies and gents, you know, the news or whoever talks about China regulating BTC, well, guess what, ladies and gents, they've always been regulating BTC, and if you don't know, or you don't believe me, it's fine, just go do your research, go, go research articles from 2017, talking about about China banning Bitcoin or regulating Bitcoin or even our government regulating crypto. They've always been regulating. They may tweak it here and there or they, remi they may remind us at certain points that they're regulating. But ladies and gents, they've always been doing that. So if you are freaking out and selling at the lows, then hey, again, that's what you want to do. But just know, go do your research first before you make any rash decisions. And by the way, by the way, you're not bringing your life money to any of this, right? You're not doing second mortgages. You're not getting personal loans at ridiculous prices because crypto and any other asset, it should be your money that you can afford to invest, right? And if you want something more safer, there are safer investments out there. So maybe just allocate for something this volatile, you know, like, I don't know, 5% of what you can invest in investments or play with, right? Because any investment, ladies and gents, it's a crapshoot. <laughs> Please realize and understand the stock market is the same way. The real estate market is the same way. But that doesn't mean you cannot profit. You just need to know how to do it and what to do. So this is why you go learn. This is why I put up videos so that hopefully my little bit of information can help you learn even more. But please, by all means, do not make me <laughs> the end all be all. <laughs> if you're making me the end all be all, then you got bigger problems than the crypto volatility market and any other market. <laughs> I'm just here sharing my thoughts hopefully helping you get a little bit more educated. Hey, this is how I started. I watched so many YouTube videos on how to do certain things or what is certain things or just, you know, formulating my own strategies and opinions. So you go do the same, ladies and gents, you go do the same. This is why I don't really bag on any other YouTubers because even if I don't agree with them, at least they have a counterpoint of view, you know? And I'll listen. And if I don't like it, then I don't listen. Simple as that. Simple as that with me, ladies and gents. If you like it, you know what to do with the little thumb. And please don't tell me what you're going to do with your little thumb. <laughs> and the red button. Don't tell me, you know. If you don't like it, then just click away. It's all good. With that being said, ladies and gents, I hope you have a great day or night wherever you are. Please stay safe. Please stay healthy. Please stay sane. Most important of all. And I will see you at the next video. Adios.